All right, this is just a quick video to show the issue that it sounds like you are having. Basically, this is the gantry, okay? It's the X axis. This is the Y axis. Your issue here has nothing to do with what's happening here. So I'm not even sure why, that, why that's even in the explanation of what your problems are or what the printer's issues are with the gantry. Currently, I am pushing up on this you know, pretty well, pretty good, but at any given moment during the normal operation of this printer, putting this much effort on the gantry will never happen. So the fact that the right side is dropping has nothing to do with this, okay? So the issue is when you assemble the printer, there are two screws right here, okay? These two screws hold this rail, right here, the cross rail, to this bracket, okay? I could literally get rid of this bracket right here, and this rail should still be solid and hold its position horizontally. It doesn't need this bracket to do that. You could literally take this bracket off, let this rail hang out here because of these two screws. If these two screws are loose at all, what one or both of the screws are loose, you would not be able to do this. You, it would indeed move. Okay, It has nothing to do with this bracket. So once you get this rail solid, horizontal, parallel and vertical okay with the entire printer and you tighten these two screws right here these two screws can only be reached from the other side the back side of this rail so it has to be removed it has to be taken off this rail set it up so that this rail is 90 degrees with this bracket so when this bracket is sitting on this rail the horizontal rail should be 90 degrees. Once you have done that, carefully remove it from this bracket, tighten the two screws on the back side, and then put it back. And you should be able to put this gantry on this rail without this bracket, and this should be fairly firm. That's what you want. When people tell you to tighten the eccentric nuts to stop that from moving, you're not solving the problem, you're creating another problem. You still have two loose screws over here, and now you've got the, the wheels way too tight, so you're creating binding. So you now have two problems. So avoid doing that, because that's bad advice. Don't tighten the eccentric nut here to solve the problem here, okay? To fix this problem, tighten these two screws only. And it, they have to be fairly tight, okay? They got to be fairly tight on this bracket right here, okay? Once you take this off, tighten the screws, put it back on, check to be sure that it is completely horizontal with the table, with the frame. Don't even worry about the table. It's got to be horizontal, squared up with the frame. These two screws, not the eccentric nuts on the brackets. That's not the way to fix this. So good luck. These two screws, tighten from the other side by removing it. Make sure it's at 90 degrees. Tighten them up firm. Put it back on. Test it again. It's solid. Now you can put the bracket on there and then tighten the, wheel, the wheels properly so that they, that, they, that they are firm. They can still spin, okay, but they're firm and not overly tightened. If you overly tighten them to solve this problem, you got two problems. You're in trouble. Okay, good luck.